Hey everyone, Jose here with Case Status. Uh, just recording this video for you really quickly to walk you through a high level overview into the Case Status platform and how with the integration of my case, we can really provide more operational efficiency for your firm, create more top line revenue growth and also monetize on client satisfaction. Paul mentioned that a lot of you are wondering uh, a little bit more into the case status platform and what it looked like and how uh, it really complements my case and so i wanted to record this really quickly again would love to walk you through a full-fledged demonstration that's tailored for your practice uh, for your law firm for your staff size and practice area so uh, feel free to reach out to us to schedule some time for a dedicated call to set the stage here and give you an idea of what we're looking at the right side of the screen is going to be the case status web portal specific to your staff members. A very simple view of your client, the primary user, the practice area, the status of the case. And then over here is on the left side of the screen is going to be the actual mobile application uh, for your client and what it looks like from a client perspective. You can see that both the application and the web portal is going to be firm branded. It's going to have your firm logo, your firm color scheme on both the app and the web portal. Uh, and so a true extension of your practice. We live in a very consumer driven world where clients are looking for instant updates, instant gratification. You know, if you can track a pizza, if you can track an Amazon package, you know, why can't you track your legal matter? And so that's uh, essentially how case status was born. The mobile application right now is seeing an average of around 70 to 85 percent adoption. Uh, so both downloading and using case status, which is huge, very high number of people downloading and using case status. That's really a big differentiator between us and a lot of these other client portals out there. And a big reason for that high adoption is just how easy it is for a client to download case status and use case status. So think of an Uber, think of a Venmo. We want to provide that same experience for your clients and just ease to download the platform. Client gets a simple text message with a template uh, message that can say whatever you'd like. In that message will be a link to the app store so the client can then press that link, it redirects them to the app store, they download case status, and then all they need to do is put in their cell phone number, a verification code, and that is it. No need for any sort of emails or passwords or extra credentials, right? A client may not remember those credentials. They may not have access to a computer, but they definitely have access to a cell phone or a smartphone. So we make it extremely simple, extremely secure through that cell phone number and verification process. Now, that other 15, 20% of people that are not going to download case status, they're still going to receive every single message update document via text so that they could easily just text you right back and forth like a regular texting thread. All of those text messages are gonna be syncing back into case status, which is also going to be syncing back into my case as well. Now, the big key here to the case status platform is really creating more operational efficiency for your practice, really centralizing the communication, adding some automation, giving your firm that time back to ultimately uh, do your jobs. And we can see that through the application. From a client perspective, I can see really the answer to my number one question, which is what is going on with my case? What's my current status? I can see that I'm on a family case. I have a checklist item of something that needs to happen. The current status, which is initial information gathering. If I hit this more button, I can see, hey, during our initial meeting, we'll ask you for to fill out various information forms. It's giving me, the client, a nice overview of what exactly is happening in the stage of the case, but also providing a nice visual aid below. Right? We like to joke it's the Domino's pizza tracker of the case, but really giving clients this insight into this client journey. Now, we want to make sure that the client has access to this journey at any given point in the case. And so a client is going to have access to the process tab to really walk them through what that journey looks like from start to finish. I can see that step one is going to be initial information gathering. If I wanted to look ahead, I can see that two is going to be petition for divorce. Three is temporary orders, four is discovery, five is mediation, six is trial or settlement, and then case closed. And so really walking your client through this process so that way they could essentially answer their own questions. They won't feel the need to call. We're building this muscle memory for a client to log in as opposed to calling in and really setting the expectations from day one. Clients tend to call, ask a question, and then call back maybe next week to ask the same exact thing. And so really provide this peace of mind 
for your client, this one-stop shop, if you will, and almost this social media-like experience where we find a number of our clients logging in multiple times a week and not necessarily having any questions. And so really providing that, that enhanced client experience uh, that, again, is an extension of the firm. This process and this journey can be customized to say ultimately whatever you'd like. It can be any practice area that you'd like. It can be family, immigration, uh, personal injury, uh, uh, workers' comp. It can be uh, probate, estates, uh, really anything that you'd like where you can customize the stages and descriptions. We're using the integration of my case to automate the actual stage progression as well so that when you make a change in my case to the stage of the case, it's going to automatically trigger case status to update into the next stage of the case as well. So all this working for you in the background. Once a client gets created into my case, the case is also going to get created into my case um, also. Now, another big piece to really providing this operational efficiency for your practice is really centralizing all of your communication. Think about this mix of phone calls, emails, text messages. There's this lack of visibility. Hopefully none of you all are giving out your personal cell phone number. We want to have one place for the client and one place for the staff. Clients are going to have access to the messages tab where they're going to receive every single message, every update, every document, every image here on the messages tab. Again, if they don't download the app, they're still going to receive it all via text. All your client is doing is hitting send a message. They can type the message out. They can add any sort of images or videos or media files or PDFs or anything to where once they send that message or document, that's going to then come in here into the web portal for the staff. So now I'm a staff member, I go to my client's case, I can see all of the activity here, uh, a, a red receipt, a timestamp of when the client has viewed the actual message. We can see all the documents housed in one location, but we also want to make sure that all these messages and documents are going back into my case. So if I go to my case real quick to give you just a general idea of where everything is living, we're going to go to a, ca a case here, a test case. All of the messages are actually going to be syncing back into the communications tab every two minutes. And then all of the documents are going to be syncing into the documents tab within the actual case every 20 minutes. And so my case remains the centralized location for all of these messages and documents. Really, the only difference is that case status becomes that direct replacement for whatever you're using to communicate with your clients. And so really using that communication aspect to uh, complement your my case account we can add automations to our messaging based off of any specific triggers or scenarios like the no case change right the no update update that i'm sure you all are very used to giving out and have this automation go weekly monthly twice monthly where a client gets a message hey working on your case no updates to report if you have any questions message us on case status so a nice way to help complement some of these manual phone calls by adding some automation behind it we can have this automation be a little more dynamic and and really be triggered off of the stage of the case that it's living in so as we move from stage one to two, we can have different automated messages sent with a whole different body of a message as well, right? We have automations that are date-based where we can use the date of birth that we get from my case and send an automatic happy birthday message. We have uh, recurring messages that we can send for automation uh, on, a, on a weekly, monthly, bi-weekly basis. We have single-based automations. And so really uh, creating a lot of these automations in the beginning so that it's kind of the set and forget model, if you will, and really working for you in the background. We have a concept of checklist items that also really helps automate the process where a client can have a clear view of what needs to happen in order to move forward to the next step of the case. Really builds this accountability piece, kind of firmly puts the ball in your client's court where they can see a checklist item, a due date, uh, the owner to the checklist item, but we can also automate these checklist items so that as they move to different stages, there will be a new list of checklist items for the client uh, to take care of. We can take it a step further and place the client's case on hold and explain to them, uh, to them why uh, we're placing the case on hold. It can be having gotten paid yet. It can be waiting on a court date. It can, see, it can say something along the lines of, hey, I'm still waiting uh, on these documents where once we place the case on hold, it's gonna notify the client, it's gonna turn the application bright red, it's gonna stay that way every single day until you as a firm remove the hold yourself. And so a great way to really build that sense of urgency. Now, all of these automations can be tweaked and customized based off of the firm, based off of the practice, but really creating this efficiency for your firm. And again, 
seeing an average decrease of over 51% of phone calls uh, by adding a lot of these automations and really centralizing it all to the application. The client has this peace of mind, this one-stop shop where they can see everything that's happening on their case, whether it be just looking through the process or getting an automated message. Now, we wanna make sure that we can always track client satisfaction and measure and monetize client satisfaction for more opportunities for reviews and referrals. And so the way it works with case status is as a case is moving from stage to stage, your client is actually going to be required to rate their experience from a zero to 10 net promoter score. So they actually have to put in a score in the app and they have the option to leave any sort of feedback. But now the firm has this hard concrete data to look for more opportunities to send reviews and referrals. We can see this kind of line graph of scores with any feedback given, and then we can set more automations based off of these scores. Uh, create a rule as an example of, hey, all of my clients that are leaving me eights, nines, and tens, automatically send them a message with my Google business account. On the flip side, we can say, hey, all of my clients that are giving me you know, a seven or below or a six or below, send them a message saying, you know, hey, what can we do to help? How, you know, what, what's, what's going on? So that we can really mine through this data. We can strike while the iron's hot, right? There's no point in waiting until the end of the case for a review if we can uh, send it a lot sooner. And then we can convert those lower scores into positive scores. Uh, we want to fortify the referral piece as well, where clients have a nice general overview of what, who is working on their case. I can see the attorneys and the case managers that are working on my case. You can see that it's a little bit more personable of an approach. All the attorneys are going to have this contact card with a refer button so the client can hit the refer button. It'll pull this info into a contact card where I can send it as a text, as an email, as a note to whoever I want. So really, really fortifying that word of mouth effort, really complementing some of the marketing um, uh, campaigns that you all are working on and just giving you this data to have a better idea of, of who to send more opportunities to for reviews and referrals. The last piece to our marketing is really going to be just our mass messaging capabilities, making it extremely easy to reach out to all of our clients at once where I could select this very first box, I can hit bulk actions here, send a message to every single client for any sort of marketing material, Facebook post, blog post, newsletter, community outreach, happy holidays, uh, and, and whatever we want, right? Where the client's gonna get the message no matter what through the app or through text. We can use the filters to decide who it is we wanna reach out to based off of practice area, filter off of the date, the status, the NPS score, who's downloaded the app, who hasn't, even filter between open and closed cases. And so clients that are no longer active, you know, we can continue communicating with them uh, to, to go into more detail and, and stay relevant, right? Stay fresh in mind if they ever need to come back. And so really looking for more repeat business opportunities uh, is huge here through case status. That's kind of the 10,000 foot view of the platform. Uh, again, wanna make sure that as we uh, talk to you more one-on-one -on -one and we go through an actual tailored demonstration that we match the, the actual features and, and, and the value of the platform uh, to your practice and what your workflows look like. A Couple of other features that we obviously wanna talk to you about like our live translation feature where we can translate live text um, into any desired language and, and just some more uh, automations uh, with, with internal messaging and collaboration that would love to get into more detail with, but feel free to reach out if you ever have any more questions on the platform, would love to show you uh, more of, of how we could help. Thanks.